All right, let's get this set up good, folks. Okay, what's going up, everyone? I'm YouTube NES Ruler. Welcome to a new video. It's been quite a while since my last video here on Guys. I think it's been like a month or something like that. I think my last one was like April 19th. So that was really like a month ago, and I haven't really been buying anything lately. I haven't really been going out and hunting because um, of school, you know, it's the end of the semester. I'm, I've been just swamped with, um, you know, making a, a short film, which uh, actually got accepted this today, actually, to my... Uh, I go to Columbia in Chicago, and it got accepted to the... Uh, to the uh, school's film festival, end of the year film festival with like eight other shorts. So I was pretty happy with that, you know. Um, my first film that I, I've actually worked on, you know, gets gets put into this festival. So it was pretty cool. It's me and two other guys that uh, put this short together. I may post it here on my channel um, in a little bit. I'll let you guys know about that, but stay tuned for my channel if you want to see you know, me actually shooting shooting something that's, it's not horror related, but um, I think it's pretty original and pretty uh, interesting. And I know the people that follow me on uh, on the 22 Shots and Moods and Horror Facebook page um, has seen uh, a rough cut of it and stuff like that. So let's get into it. I don't have many things here. I probably have like 10 titles or so, or so but I wanted to show you guys something, put a new video up for you guys. So let's get into it. So the first movie I got here is actually a uh, another Twilight Time release, and you're probably thinking, no horror films got released by Twilight Time recently. They didn't. But my favorite comedy of all time got a fucking Blu-ray transfer by Twilight Times, and I had to pick it up, even though I spent like 35 bucks on this, which is like, if you know me, you know that's fucking outrageous. But it's limited to 3,000, like typical Twilight Times, and it's my favorite comedy. I had to get it. And that's used cars. Um, this movie is fucking hilarious. It's a Robertson Zemeckis is uh like early films. It's, it's not like his first, but it's it's one of his early starring Kurt Russell. Um and uh Garrett Graham, if you guys know from Child's Play Two and uh, a whole bunch of other uh independent horror films, but this movie is fucking hilarious. It's so funny. I know Moods watched a little bit of this when he was here in my house, but we didn't get a chance to finish it, but um, if you guys haven't seen Used Cars, fucking go get the DVD, because it's really fucking hilarious. It's so funny. I highly recommend it. Uh, you got your typical Twilight Times book and the Blu-ray right there. I was really surprised Twilight Times, uh, you know, released this, this film, um, it's kind of an uh, uh, you know an unknown comedy that's really fucking funny, and I actually picked up a new release. Uh, this is my favorite film from 2013, and maybe my favorite film, ooh, in the last like five years or so. I would have to say I absolutely love this film. Um, I, I really think that uh, it didn't get enough praise at the during the awards ceremony that it deserved. That's uh, Spike Jones's Her. Uh, this just came out like yesterday. I actually paid full retail for it, which you guys know is something that I don't do. But this film is just, it's so beautifully shot. And the cinematography in this movie is just fucking amazing. And uh, Spike Jones did a really, really, really great job with this film. You know, you guys would probably think, oh, Sp you know, Spike Jones is, you know, jackass and where the wild things are. But besides being John Melkovich and, you know, Her, those are really. And it, a, uh, what the fuck is the one with Nicholas Cage? Whatever. Um, he's a really, really underrated director, and this film definitely shows his his uh, abilities. Um, it's just really, it's just an awesome story, and like I said, a really beautifully shot film. So if you guys get a chance to pick up her, I would highly, highly recommend it. You'll probably be hearing me talk about this one quite often because. Um, I really do, really, really enjoy this film, and, uh, you know, I will compare it with uh, There Will Be Blood and uh, The Master, which is Joaquin Phoenix's other film, but um, this movie is just, it's just fucking great. So good. If you guys haven't seen her, I highly recommend you guys go go pick it up. It's 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 so good. All right, now we got some family video pickups, of course. These were all buck fifty as usual. 
Argento's Dracula. Um, I know this movie is fucking horrendously bad and terrible. Uh, the movie itself is more scary than the content. But um, it's an IFC Midnight, and you know me with IFC's Midnight's I'm a completionist. And I buy every one that I possibly can, so cannot wait till contract it goes down in price because I will grab that. I might even pay five bucks for con contracted because um, I've only seen one copy at each store and I want to get on that and grab it before someone else does. But I haven't seen one for sale yet, so uh, keeping my eye open. But that's our Gentle's Dracula. Yeah, it's horrendously bad. Here's another movie I heard that's fucking horrendously bad as well. That's I Am So So, put out by Image. Um, I haven't had much luck with Image lately. After Bloody Homecoming, I've really lost all faith <coughs> in the label because fucking Bloody Homecoming is, is horrendous. But uh, this is like, you know, like an Ouija board, uh, like, like, releases a ghost or something like that. I have no idea. I just bought it because I needed another one to go with the stack. So I figured, well, fucking what the hell. I'll buy it. It's probably horrendous. I've heard it's really, really bad. But uh, Next we have Blackwater Vampire. Again, put out by Images. Another one that looks really bad. And the cover kind of reminded me of, uh, of Rumpelstiltskin. I mean, um... I see a resemblance at all. Yeah, I, I kind of see a resemblance because I have no idea who would want to rip off this movie because it's fucking bad. But, um, Blackwater Vampire put up an image. I guess it's like a vampire film. It looks shitty CGI vampires, but whatever. It's a buck fifty out the line by anything at that price. Uh, this one seemed cool. This is Dark Room. This put out at Phase 4 films who usually don't disappoint. Um, I thought this one kind of sounded a little bit like uh, like Alice a little bit. Um, I guess it's about this chick who kills three of her friends in a car accident. On purpose or not, I don't know. But I guess uh, they send her to rehab because I guess, you know, she's a druggie. And... Um, she gets trapped in this mansion with, uh, I guess, these three psychopaths siblings that live in this mansion. I don't know, it sounded pretty fucking cool, I have to say myself. I may check this one out tonight, actually, now that the semester is starting to wrap up. I just have one more final paper to write. Um, I'm thinking about also, like, my films posting my, my written work. Um... I'll either upload it to Mediafire and I'll post the links down below if you guys want to read my, my writing as well. Um, I do quite a bit of writing. For school, I just turned in a, a uh, pretty lengthy, like, 10-page paper on uh, comparing Gummo and Spring Breakers with Harmony Corona as an art tour. Um, so I may post that as well down below if you guys want to read that. Um, kind of become obsessed with Spring Breakers over this last six weeks, you know, studying the film. So, um, it's kind of been, you know, in my mind for six weeks. That movie, man, um, Harmony Corone is, is a true, true, uh, auteur in my mind, even though, you know, not many people really consider him one. He's, I love Harmony Corone. He's, he's a, he's an interesting man and an interesting filmmaker, so I might post that down below as well. Next, I have another IFC Midnight I didn't have. I grabbed this for like a buck fifty on Hastings because I wanted to, you know, pick up some odd and odds and ends IFC Midnights that I didn't have. This is the Catacism. Catalism? <laughs> fuck you pronounce that? Yeah, I have no idea how the fuck you pronounce that, but um, yeah, this is an IFC Midnight I didn't actually have. Um, I think it's a horror comedy from. Uh, where's this made? I don't think it's a U.S. film. I don't know. It's an IFC Midnight I Need, and I think it's a newer one, because the, uh, the logo's on the bottom and not the top, so. <coughs> That's cool. Buck 50 for IFC Midnight that I don't already have is pretty gnarly. And we have uh, Air, Errors of the Human Bodies, another IFC Midnight I did not have. Um, 
curious to check this one out as well. So my IFC Midnight list is surely but um, surely but slowly, uh, you know, getting uh, thinned out more and more, um, you know, by the by the month really. I just need like I think like ten more titles. I think there's like I said before, there's no def definite list of IFC Midnights, but. Um, I think I need about 10 more or so until I have, you know, all the new, uh, all the ones that I know. I don't know what new ones have came out recently. I'll have to, you know, look those up, but see behind me, you'll see a shit ton of clear IFC Midnight cases. Okay, next we have Casanaga. Is that how you pronounce it? This is a, put this out, Pollywood Entertainment release. Um, I grabbed this at Family Fitter. It was like a buck fifty. I think it's a ghost film. Had a cool cover, and it says there's a new Puppet Master, so... <laughs> it says Puppet Master, even though it probably has, you know, nothing nothing to do with Puppet Master whatsoever, but they just put that up there anyway. Alright, two, one more, guys, the last one. We have Apartment 143, put out by Magnet. This is a found footage film. Um, I guess it's about ghosts in an apartment. Um, I guess I should have watched this before last week's podcast. Maybe I would have included this in my list, but who knows? I'll guys let you know. Put up by magnets. I usually grab everything and anything put up by magnets. So, yeah. So that's it, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, if you want to follow me on my Twitter, you can do so at twitter.com slash nesrural22. Post on there every day. You know, I post these pickups a while ago, so if you guys follow me on over there, you'll see. Uh, if you also want to follow me on the devilseyes.com, I... I have a Blu-ray review up there right now of uh, Would You Rather, and uh, now that school's over, I'm going to start writing a little bit uh, more for the site. I'm planning to do an ATM Blu-ray review coming up soon, um, so stay tuned to that. I'm going through my IFC Midnight Blu-rays right now and uh, just you know reviewing a whole bunch of those, hopefully in the near future, so I'll put a link down below to the doubleseyes.com, go over there, support the independent horror community. And if you guys want to follow me on the 22 Shots of Moods and Horror podcast, you can do so, of course, at the man himself, Moods, his channel, youtube.com slash Moods616, or follow us on iTunes or on iTunes. So if you guys have iTunes, just search 22 Shots of Moods and Horror podcast and follow us over there. And I think that shall be it. Hope everyone has a safe weekend. And all my fellow college mates out there, I hope your finals went well. And I shall talk to you guys soon. See you guys.